And charges are now filed against four teenagers involved in a police chase that shut down I-43 for hours last week. This is DOT video shows the driver of that white SUV getting on the highway and driving recklessly into a construction zone before hitting a cement truck. Our Mary McCarr was one of the first crews on the scene that day. She now breaks down that criminal complaint, which reveals this case started long before last week. This timeline actually starts back in September of 2023 when a visiting Waukesha County Sheriff's deputy reported his Kia was stolen near Brady Street in Milwaukee. The deputy said his car was taken with his department issued semi automatic gun inside of it. The car was found, but the firearm was not. Remember that it'll be an important detail later. Next on June 8th of this year, a white Chevy SUV was reported stolen near Holton and Capitol. The next time officers see that vehicle is almost two weeks later when investigators say it was used for an armed robbery. The driver eventually led police on a chase through a construction zone on I-43, closing the freeway for several hours. The criminal complaint we obtained Tuesday says around noon that day, a group of four teenagers with a gun inside that same white Chevy SUV approached a woman in a Kia and demanded her keys. That woman refused, so the four went back into their car and left. 20 minutes later and two blocks away, the same group did the same thing and this time got away with the Hyundai. According to the complaint, they sold the vehicle for $200 and some marijuana to a marijuana dealer. Shortly after, an MPD squad tried to pull over that white SUV and the chase on I-43 began. You can see in this video the 18-year-old driver speeding inside an active construction zone before hitting a cement truck. The complaint says the driver hit a squad car and officers opened fire. The driver was shot in the arm and jaw. The passenger, the driver's 18-year-old pregnant girlfriend, was shot in the head and the back. She suffered life-threatening injuries and lost her unborn child. Officers say the semi-automatic gun in the car that was used in both armed robberies was the same gun that was stolen from the Waukesha deputy in 2023. A total of six people were inside the white SUV, one as young as 15. Four passengers now face a total of 20 felony charges, including armed robbery and theft. In Milwaukee, Miriam McCart, TMJ4 News.